One of the most common questions I get asked about the S5 is whether the AF is reliable enough to do simple BTS behind the scenes filming or even vlogging like what I'm doing right now. So I thought to answer it, I'll just show you guys. Yeah, it's on my to-do list. I'll get it done. So I'm actually here today uh, filming some stuff with Sean Evely. Um, I'll leave a link to his YouTube channel in the description. He makes woodworking videos and they're really good. Um, but we're just taking some photos of one of the commission builds he's got going on at the moment, which is a nice table, Danish table, Danish bench. There we go. A nice Danish bench. So um, yeah, to get some photos and videos of that, and of course, testing out the AF on the S5. Um, so far it's been so good, but I guess you'll be the one to tell me how good it is, because I'm not seen it yet. So let's go. It's nearly done this project, but I can use a spoke shave to, you know, flatten these top surfaces of the rails. I need to cut some plugs and fill in these holes. Um, add a very nice spirit stain, so we're gonna make the whole thing black and I think that's going to make it look very stealthy, very nice. He's just watching his own uh, Instagram video over and over again. It's really good. <laughs> Top tip for your viewers, you got a bit of, what's that called, foreground? Is that like, you know? Foreground, yeah. yeah that's something thing. there. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> Are you staining now? Yeah. Should I should I be setting up mine? So so far I've been using just autofocus today for the work I'm doing here. Of course, some of the behind the scenes, doing these little vlog bits and stuff. Of course, I've not actually reviewed the footage yet, but from what I can see on my LCD, um, it looks absolutely fine. Um, of course, I'll go back and I'll review the footage, I'll see what it looks like and stuff, but I've only got positive things to say so far, so maybe it's good after all. Okay, so I've now been back and I've looked at all the footage that you guys have just seen. I've got to say, I'm actually really impressed with the AF on the S5. Um, I used it for the entirety of that shoot, so everything you saw in this video so far has been using AF. And actually, all the talking head stuff I do for YouTube, like what you're seeing now, is actually using the Panasonic S5 AF2. So, I mean, I can vouch for it being usable, uh, you know, when you're sort of self-filming or when you're trying to get BTS and stuff. Um, so, I don't think that that should be a deterring factor if you are sort of on the fence about buying the S5, I do actually think that if you know how to set up properly, you can actually get some pretty good results. Also, just so you know, I shot in a mixture of Cine Like D and Vlog for the entirety of that video, and I'll leave like a little sort of um, note on the side of each video, or each clip, should I say, that says exactly what pitch profile I was using for that particular clip. Um, if you think that the exposure or the colors were a little bit weird or strange in any parts, um, that's because where we were shooting, there's a really horrible fluorescent lights, um, and also, um, I was doing it, you know, very quick and dirty because I actually had to, you know, do my actual job and get the content that I was actually there to get. Um, so it was sort of a little bit rushed, but I want to show you guys that for general BTS and vlogging, that the AF on the S5 is completely fine. I've also used the AF on this camera for a few other shoots uh, since the one that you just saw. Um, and I can vouch again and say that it's actually been pretty good. Um, it's pretty accurate. And when you get it locked onto your subject, it normally sticks quite nicely. But anyway, I hope this video has been entertaining or useful for you. And if it has, then please consider subscribing. We're doing a lot more Panasonic S5 content on this channel. So please stay tuned for that. And hopefully I shall see you in the next video. Thank you.